The Panda game, it's big for our team, that's for sure. There was 15,000 people there, so it was loud, exciting. Everybody was hyped up, ready to, ready to rock. Like you could barely hear yourself think or talk. There was more than enough good plays for us to win that game. I remember the standing play there, the, the play going down, and the ball is in the air for like seems like 30 minutes, and then finally the lucky bounce, or whatever you call it, right place, right time. Guy picks it up, and I just remember Carlton fans whizzing by me, just storm in the field, and just utter shock. I was speechless. The Gigi's fans are stunned in silence. Going into the Windsor game, uh, it was a long road trip. It was a 10-hour drive, and then a 10-hour day of waiting around. No, it, it, it was honestly just a recipe for disaster from the beginning. When we got home, we kind of all just kind of looked at ourselves in the mirror and kind of I started to figure out what kind of people we were as players on this team. When, you, when you're playing and you're practicing with nothing to lose, we're a pretty tough team to beat, and that's what happened against McMaster. Rusty and, and Murphy preached all week, uh, this is it, you gotta give it everything you got or our, our season's over. This guy named Mike Ireland, who's our D-line coach, he got us really pumped up before the game, just basically emphasized that this is our last go, our season could be done, right then and there. Everyone was up on that game. All the pressure, all the emotion was just bringing everyone to their A game. Tunch had a big fumble recovery for a touchdown. I think it was like over 70 yards. I remember we were just losing it on the bench. Everyone was so excited. Jackson, our young free safety, came out and stepped up hard. I remember talking to him a lot during that game, like make a big play, it's time. Do something for us, you know, take us, take it on your shoulders, and sure enough, he did. When you see young guys like that stepping up and playing for their older, their vets, which is what the game was like there, um, it's awesome to see. At the end of the game, I was pretty excited. I think everyone is when you beat a team that's undefeated. You know that you you can beat anyone almost at that point. I see a good future for the GG's program, especially with the coaching staff that we have right now. I'm kind of upset that I'm going into my last season here because things are just getting better and better. Recruiting's getting stronger and uh, I have no doubt in my mind that we'll be uh, in the Vanier Cup running in the next few years. <laughs> my team is awesome. I'm going to go with courageous. That's a, that's a decent word, right? <laughs> Resilient. My team is a family. It's a brotherhood. Uh, you carry the uh, relationships that you you make here into the future, into the rest of your life. We faced a lot of adversity that season. It took a lot of courage for people to stand up as leaders, to work hard in the off season, and to try and fight the opinion of others that thought that uh, we weren't gonna do well that year. I mean, you see blood, sweat, and tears, literally, in that change room. And what you go through in that change room, you can't compare that to anything else in life.